so let us start with the next concept sudden change in mechanical input so what will be the effect of sudden change in mechanical input on the power angle curve So, this is a single line diagram. In the single line diagram, this is a machine. Then reactance of the machine, a reactance of the transmission line. And this single line diagram shows that this is a transient model that a single machine is connected or tied with the infinite bus bar. Let us say the voltage available at the infinite bus bar is v at an angle 0 degrees that is we will say this angle uh, this voltage is the voltage at the receiving end this is the generator synchro generator which is delivering or it producing the electrical power at an angle e dash at an angle delta let the input which is given to the generator is the mechanical power or rotating power that is given by pm x dash d is the uh, reactance of the machine and Xe is the reactance of the transmission line. So the electrical power which is transferred from one side to the another side that that electrical power or the electrical power is given as Pe equal to magnitude of E dash into magnitude of V divided by X dash D plus xe into sin of delta and this term e dash v into x dash d plus xe is referred as p max so this becomes p max sin delta under steady state condition or equilibrium condition or synchronous condition pm0 is equal to pe0 and that is equal to p max sin delta that is mechanical input power is equal to electrical output power and these two powers are referred as or given by or calculated by it is p max sine delta so this can be seen with the this i this is uh, with the help of a power angle curve so delta zero is the angle at which the machine or the system is operating at a steady state or equilibrium state the mechanical power corresponding to this steady state is referred as pm0 and the angle is delta 0 let us say omega s is the synchronously rotating speed or angular velocity of the rotor so we will say it is a synchronous speed and the machine is machine is delivering electrical output as p0 as pm0 and p0 both will be equal at steady state let the mechanical input to the rotor be suddenly increased to pm1 by opening the steam valve if you are considering the generating station is a thermal generating station so the speed of the generator can be increased with the help of the governor of the steam valve so if steam wall increases slightly with the help of a governor the input to the generator will increase let us say that this input will increase from pm0 to pm1 so pm1 will be the new input so we have a swing equation as pa equal to pm minus pe up to the steady state pm and pe that is mechanical input power and electrical output power both the powers are same so accelerating power is zero and that condition is called as a steady state condition or stable operating condition or equilibrium condition now the input power is increased from pm0 to pm1 so the accelerating power is given by p1 
पी ए इक्वल टू पी एम वन माइनस पी ई एंड दिस कॉजेस द रोटर स्पीड टू इंक्रीज बिकॉज वी हैव इंक्रीज द स्टीम इनलेट ऑफ द जनरेटर जनरेटर्स द टर्बाइन विल रोटेट एट अ हायर स्पीड एंड एज द टर्बाइन इज रोटेटिंग एट द हायर स्पीड इट विल रोटेट द रोटर ऑफ द जनरेटर विद द हायर स्पीड सो हियर एज पी एम वन इज ग्रेटर दैन पी ई यू विल गेट द एक्सेलेटिंग पावर और एक्सेलेटिंग टॉर्क ड्यू टू दिस एक्सेलेटिंग टॉर्क द रोटर विल स्टार्ट टू एक्सेलरेट फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट टू बी पॉइंट इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड वेन एवर इट इज एक्सेलेटिंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी इट विल गेन सम काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड दिस काइनेटिक एनर्जी विच इज गेन ड्यूरिंग द एक्सेलेटिंग पीरियड इज इंडिकेटेड बाय दिस एरिया ए वन नो वेन इट रिचेस एट पॉइंट बी वेन इट रिचेस एट पॉइंट बी दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू दिस बी द एंगल शुड बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा वन द एंगल शुड बी इक्वल टू डेल्टा वन एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग मेकेनिकल इनपुट इज पी एम वन एट दिस पी एम वन करस्पॉन्डिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल आउटपुट ऑल्सो पी ई वन सो एज पी एम वन एंड पी ई वन बोथ आर इक्वल द रोटर शुड स्टॉप एक्सेलरेटिंग एट दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस शुड बी द न्यू ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन और न्यू ऑपरेटिंग स्टेट बट ड्यू टू मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया दिस रोटर विल नॉट स्टॉप एट दिस पोजिशन इट विल मूव इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो द डायरेक्शन इन दिस डायरेक्शन वेन स्पीड ऑफ द रोटर इज ग्रेटर दैन द सिंक्रोन स्पीड ग्रेटर दैन द सिंक्रोन स्पीड देन इट विल मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट इज इट विल मूव इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो एट दिस पॉइंट दो इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर बिकम्स इक्वल टू द मेकेनिकल पावर मेकेनिकल इनपुट पावर रोटर डजंट स्टॉप एट दिस फाइनल पोजिशन बट इट विल अगेन मूव इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन एंड इट मे स्टॉप एट पॉइंट सी वाई इट मे स्टॉप एट पॉइंट सी बिकॉज वॉट एवर द काइनेटिक एनर्जी गेन ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड द रोटर वी स्टार्ट टू लॉस दिस काइनेटिक एनर्जी वेन इट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम बी टू सी and at point c whatever the kinetic energy gained during this period this kinetic energy becomes zero and let us say the corresponding angle is delta 2 corresponding angle is delta 2 and when becomes delta 2 it goes on decreasing that is here the electrical power will become more than the mechanical input power so the accelerating power will become negative accelerating power will become negative and as the accelerating power becomes negative this will start to deaccelerate the rotor will start to deaccelerate in this direct in the downward direction here the omega will be lesser than the omega s let us say this speed is the omega s speed at delta 2 and this speed goes on decreasing and whenever it goes on decreasing the rotor will start to decelerate the rotor will start to decelerate so due to the moment of inertia due to the moment of inertia this rotor will oscillate at the final equilibrium position that is about point b at point about point b this will oscillate and after some time when these oscillations damped out this rotor will stop at point b or this will be the new equilibrium position of the rotor this will be the new operating position of the rotor or this called as new equilibrium position of the rotor and that speed will be considered as a omega s now according to the equal area criteria the area covered during the acceleration period and area covered during the deceleration period that is area covered during the acceleration period is referred as a1 and the area covered during the deceleration period is referred as a2 this a1 becomes equal to a2 that is accelerating area becomes equal to decelerating area then the system will be referred as a stable system the system will be stable considered as a stable system so this is the 
effect of the rotor when there is a sudden increase sudden change in the mechanical input now if mechanical input is more than this pm1 that is there is a much more increase in the mechanical input of the generator or we can say the change in the mechanical input is too large so what will happen this rotor will start to accelerate in this direction and instead of this the new equilibrium position may be other point let us say this new equilibrium position <coughs> sorry equilibrium position is this one and due to moment of inertia this will move in the forward direction so the accelerating area will be from this point to this point from this point to this point and it will move in this direction it will move in this direction so if i see the area the area will be like this so the first area a1 which will be covered will be like this up to this point and from this point area a2 will be covered and this area will be covered as a, this will be considered as a a2 so from diagram it is clear that area a2 is having a very low value than the area a1 so in this case the area a2 never becomes equal to area a1 so as area a2 never becomes equal to a1 so we can say that the system is never going to become stable if there is a large increase or large change in the mechanical input of the generator so to stable the system this two areas must be equal that is area a1 should be equal to area a2 and if both the areas are equal then and then only we can say that the system will remain same if there is a large change in the input of the system then this area a1 will not become equal to area a2 and whenever this condition occurs that is deselecting area is not equal to accelerating area the system will lose the synchronism so it is easily seen that the system oscillates about the new steady state point b that is delta equal to delta 1 with an angle exertion up to delta 0 and delta 2 on the two side that is it will oscillate between delta 0 and 